albeit controversially. I think we may have gone in with one less bowler than we should have. Hey guys, how are you going? And hey, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 22 career mode. In today's episode, we're playing our final ever Ashes series with the first test beginning here. We're playing at Edgebaston. Now in the last uh, Ashes series, we won 3-1, so a draw here will see us retain the Ashes. But of course, it being the final ever Ashes series of Cricket 22, we will be aiming to uh, get a little clean sweep over in England, which is very tough to do. But uh, anyway, we're ranked to 99 overall now. We're the best that we can be. Let's try and get a 5-0 clean sweep. Of course, apologies, no Tube 22 during this Ashes series because of time constraints and also with the new game coming out. I'm going to be very busy with that, but for now, Let's take a look at the overalls, 94 each, 92 batting, 93 bowling, 89 fielding for Australia compared to 92 batting, 91 bowling, and 89 fielding for England. So very close, the only difference really being the bowling, but then again, it's not that much difference at all. So 94 apiece, let's see, uh, here we go. Here we go, thrilling Ashes series level heading for Old Trafford Test. Well, we're playing at Edgebaston, the Ashes haven't started yet, what is going on? Anyway. It's been a while since we last played, played the Ashes. We had a few things going on. A couple of Porter Gavska trophies. A World Cup in the mixer. Start of 100. And now I've got a little Ashes series here. Uh, but fantastic scenes all around. Looks like we've got Josh Tung in there. Matty uh, Potts. Captain, is that Harry Brook? Let's take a look. But first of all, welcome to Ed Baston for this first Ashes test. Karen Carlson, Tom Clark, Bahannon, Brook, Rhodes, Carter, Duke, Dunedi, Potts, Tung, Mori, Moriarty is a spinner. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's go the heads. Are they going to implement basketball? We don't know. Anyway, heads is the call. It looks to be a tail. England have won a toss here. Soft, dry pitch. Maybe you put us into have a bat first, potentially. England have chosen a bat. Right, okay. Let's uh, have a trundle. Here we go. 119 poles at 16.02. We've had an absolute stinker with the ball in the last two series we had the Border Gavaska Trophy. Uh, we took minimal wickets. And it wasn't a fun time, but here we go. England 1 for 80. They've started off very well. Of only 25 overs. Carlson 27 of 55. Clark 33. Bahannon 17 of 24. Just the run out there. Everyone's had a trundle. Perry on debut. No one's taken a wicket. Freeman's got pumped early on. Right, going to change the field. Go aggressive and hope for the best. And here we go. Three uh, slips and a fifth slip, which is acting as a gully. Let's go. First ball of the Ashes for us. It's a beautiful ball. 153Ks right on the money early on. Maiden first up, get around it. One for 80. England off 27 overs. Driven, driven well. Straight to uh, cover. Pennant 17. Clark 33. Don't know too much about Clark. We started well here. Let's try and feed the slips here, lads. Oh, good defense. Shot. Three to cover that time. But Hannon, first rounds of far bowling. So we're going to race away for four. Bumper crowd here at Edgebaston, as you'd expect. And that is a delightful looking shot. Last ball of the over. Is he going to try it again or just leave this one? How's that? I think it's missing off stump. Did jag in a bit. I'm not going to go upstairs. Not worth wasting the review. But we will take a look at uh, Big Ant or oh, Big Eye, whatever it's called. Uh-oh. Let's take a look at Big Eye. It is... Yeah, it's going to have to do a bit of work from there. It's jagged in, but not jagged in enough, and it wasn't even hitting, really. Well, it kind of was. Bowling to Clark, which I believe is the first time today. Oh, that was too straight. Glances that one very nicely. Kip has to run after it. I think it might go for four, actually. That's a stinker of a first ball. Start of the second session here. One for 95. Solid session from England. Can we bounce back? Oh, it's edged. Huge outside edge. Would it have carried to gully? I don't think it would have. It's gone for four though. 50 run partnership with 22. Clark moving on to 43. I somehow feel I feel like he's probably making his debut here. Looks like I haven't seen him play before. Right, none for 12 or four back. One for one five seven. Oh man. I think we may have gone in with one less bowler than we should have. We've got a pretty stacked batting lineup. We bat quite deep. But I was hoping the uh the two all rounders and us and Cameron Green and then the three out and out bowlers would be enough, but Judging by this, potentially not. Also, a very good toss to win and bat first. I thought it was a bit of a stinker, but they've bounced back very well. 56 for Bahannon and Clark 69. Also, it doesn't help that our bowling form in the test arena has not been flash recently. So, uh, yeah, we've got to watch out for that. Hopefully, we can take a few poles here. 
catch. Oh, it's a screamer. We've got a wicket. Uh, Jesus. We've been wanting that. We've been uh, trying to talk it into existence. And it has arrived. What a grab. That's why we've got Cameron Green there. Long limbs. Anyone else may not have got there, I don't think. But uh, Tom Clark departs for a very well made 69. 10 force one six. Harry Brook out to the crease. Hasn't done a whole lot. 10 matches in. He's a captain. Let's take a look at the uh, grab here from Cameron Green. Two meters. I don't think anyone else would have got it. Yep. I mean, it's fingertip stuff. We've seen it time and time again, especially in this recent WTC final, albeit controversially. He does love taking grabs in the gully. He's pulled off another blinder here. Yep. Oh, inside edge. Mate. Brooks' first run. Just runs in 12 balls. Oh, man. Dirty inside edge. Lucky for him. First runs are fast in a while. One for 16 now into the eighth. Too straight. Now we've just fucking lost our heads, you idiot. Yep. Shot. This over's turned to shit very quickly after that edge. Right, here we go. One for 24 off eight. We have uh, nine overs until the new pill. Two for one six. Two for two sixteen, sorry. Bahannon 79. Brook 35. What a toss to win and bat first. This has been very good from England, and we are just struggling. Yep. Shot. He's hit that pretty, pretty uh, back with a square there. It's going to be four more. Yep. Four more. Well, well, well. I don't think I need to run this aggressive field uh, much more. Taking out a couple of slips. Got one at point and square leg just to free it up a bit for us. As a full toss. No, what are you doing, Freeman? That's your bread and butter, son. What are you doing? Oh, this is going very poorly for Australia. Finally got a wicket. Morris gets Brooke clean bowled. Will Rhodes walking out to the crease here. I feel like he hasn't played many test matches either. Might have to go around the wicket as well. Bowling the 80th over. Last ball, or last over before the new ball. Thank goodness for that, because we need something. But Hannah's taking the purse. That's another boundary. All right, back for another trundle. Look at a semi-new uh, brand Juki. We're going to give it a little spin. Let's go. Three for 270, though. But Hannah's brought up the ton. Road six of 47. This is real anti baseball stuff, but I don't believe McCullum would be the uh, coach in 2032. Yep. Oh. oh, man. This has just gone terribly put a man into short leg it's been a few a couple that have popped up so i've taken out square leg put him at mid wicket and put a man in short now probably not going to happen again but we never know how's that that looks close give it oh thank fuck it's been a while fair while between wickets here and we've got the main man behind it is he going to go upstairs though he's not he's walking off let's take a look here that's pitched. Hit him on middle and leg. Probably hitting leg stump. We'll take a look. Well played though to Bahannon. 118 off 244. Let's take a look at this. Now, pitched outside off. That's fine. Hitting middle. And I was going to hit middle and leg. And pause core. I mean, we take those, but uh, a tad lucky. You know, we deserved it. 251 into our 18th. Bowling to Carter. Oh, trying for Yorka didn't work. Hopefully, we can start some sort of collapse because, I mean, Rhodes 8 off 78. He's not going anywhere. Not too sure how Carter goes. I actually think he's a pretty decent bat, so still got a bit of work to do. He's 98 overall, special shots, weaker skill, not going to help us much. Oh boy. Not leaving him well. Catch! Straight to him, thank you! There we go, Rhodes goes. After saying he wouldn't go anywhere, he's schnicked off to one of our own, to two slips in there. Straight to green, of course, he doesn't drop him. Head off. 80 or something. Harry Duke in his debut. I think he scored a ton of runs in a uh, one day is when we played him. You know, we picked up three for 54. We're back in the wickets. How good. And straight away we serve him up. A gentle shot on the leg side for four. That's his first ever ball in test cricket. And he's hit a four. We're back. 21 over seven maidens. Three for 59. They're now seven down for three. 70. Duke 42 on debut. Flying. Potsy on five. Can we pick up two more for another five at the test level? I think that's missing off stump. Here we go. They're finally out. Getting a chance to have a bad air. 12.57 tons. It's not looking good though. That made 417 of 164 overs. 
Oh boy, a lot of overs bowled. I'm going to have to rethink the bowling lineup because it's not working well there. And then Street got out first ball of the innings. Two tongue. Uh, Hunt three, Seymour 13, English 17, Green 24. We do have Holt and Harper still. And also, of course, we're still having a trundle of the bat. It's a bit overcast. Janethi has is bowling. There's been a run out. Duck that one, mate. That's aggressive. But uh, yeah, those 160 overs took ages. We bowled a fair whack of them too, so not great. That's full toss. I'm running that one. First runs of the Ashes. Nice. Real slow going here. Even English, 17 of 53. Very unlike him. That's a good shot straight down the ground. Won't go the distance. We'll pick up two, though, and move on to three. Just waited on the full one. Pounce on it. That's racing away. Should we go for four? Our first of the Ashes series. Get around it. Shot. It's a Noe as well. Cop that, Potsy. Let's go for four more. And again, huge gap there. Don't think this one will go. We'll go for another two. Starting to get a little move on here. Moving on to 13 off 15 balls. To need the back ball and some uh, right arm pies here. English 19 off 66. We're on 13. Waiting. Slow and steady, mate. 112 clicks. Moriarty bowling second over. Made in first up where he could be in some strife here. Oh, no. First ball two. You're fucking kidding me. Fucking spin of fucks. Oh boy. Yeah, look, just fucking terrible. One handed screamer from Rhodes as well, and the slips. 14 off 21. Are we a chance to follow on here? Oh, they're not following on. Interesting. Right, they're gonna have some big fuck off lead, I'll give you that much. Anyway, here we go. 122 poles at 16, 3 for 98. They've got a lead of 375, 140 all out. What's going on? Who's top score? English 38. That is grim. Moriarty, they even took wickets. I've uh, got a run out there, a couple of wickets to Freeman. I had in 27, fresh off a ton in the first dig. Rhodes 15 off 20. We got him out. Actually, we got both of them out. Oi, right over Hannon. They could be looking to uh, bat aggressively and get the de declaration. Um, I mean, that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, it's a pretty big statement, that one, that they're going to try and launch. Maybe I need to put someone out. I feel like we could be on for some wickets here. Or just bowling some trash. What are you doing, mate? We're not helping much, but uh, look, I'm going to put someone out at deep extra cover, and he's going to hit it straight down his throat. See, you just you just know when these things are happening. We've said it before, we've seen it before. And Bahannon goes, we pick up our first. That's what you want. See you later, Bahannon, as Carter makes his way out to the crease. I'm going to keep that fielder out there at deep extra. Just in case they all decide to just try and pump it. Not a roadsy. If we can get these guys out for less than 150, 160. It's going to be a large score to try and chase, but it's... I mean, what's the time? What? Day 3, 5.16, so potentially we might have two days to try and chase this. All right, we're back. Cam Grant took a couple of poles here. The sun is out. England 7 for 156. We're into the bowlers now. Watch out. That's a good shot there from Tanidhi. Still got that deep extra out for two. Gosh, Tanidhi, mate. Huge outside edge, blame fire. Right, we're walking out of the crease. We're actually going to end the episode there, but before we do, let's take a look and see what actually happened. Well, they've got, they made 206 all out, tongue 20 not out at the end there. Cameron Green, 5 for 47, well bowled son. We only bowled the 5 overs, 1 for 20. Tell you what, Morris bowled well as well, 1 for 13 off 14. And in reply to win, 58 not out for Street so far, and no one else has really chipped in, Hunt 25. And we need 367 runs to win the first Ashes test. Now, time shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. We've got uh, pretty much, we've got four sessions pretty much, four full sessions left. So, look, it's just wickets that are going to cook us, I reckon. But anyway, are we going to chase this down? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now, we're going to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you are feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciating those. But uh, until then... Take it easy.